at the General Motors plant in Lordstown are voting on a new contract. A contract will come from a tentative agreement between the International Union and General Motors. 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis is live at the plant where 1,300 union members will be voting over the next 24 hours. Derek? Dan and Lauren, they are voting for change, better money and better health care. Now, they have been uh, going on uh, having talks about this discussion and these negotiations for months between the union and GM, and today is the day. Now, there's an area inside the plan for employees to decide if they want the agreement that was made. There are 4,500 employees here, but only 1,300 of them are union workers who will be voting on this agreement. Now, I spoke with the president of the local union this morning over the phone, and he told me what's the next step. The last vote, the election committee would, would gather the ballots, exit the plant, go to the union hall, and the committee there will, will count the votes, tally them up, and uh, post them in the plant for the membership to see in which direction the, uh, the vote went. Now, people are able to vote until 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And Robert Morales has, says the union uh, should have an idea of the plant's decision by 7 a.m. Now, that is when they'll take those votes and combine them with all the votes across the country uh, with the International Union, and they'll have a decision on whether this agreement will pass. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. I'm live in Lordstown, Derek Lewis, WKBN 27 First News.